Hello friends, uh, today is my 27th presentation for the team of finance and accounts professionals and the subject is financial reporting of overheads in profit and loss accounts part 1. It includes 44 causes that can adversely impact the financial reporting of 15 identified expense subheads. Overall this is my 58th presentation considering all the YouTube presentations that I have made so far. What I have included in this presentation are number one overview of the 15 subheads of <coughs> uh, 5 overhead expenses in PLN account. The overhead number one being lease rent paid on assets taken on hire. There are 4 subheads. Overhead number two is repair and maintenance uh, of buildings, uh, 3 subheads. Overhead number three repairs and maintenance machines, 3 subheads. Overhead number four, repair and maintenance, others two subheads. Overhead number five, insurances, three subheads. Uh, and to subtotal of uh, uh, expense subheads is 15. Now, uh, kindly appreciate that there are 40 more expense subheads that have been identified and for seven more overheads, uh, which will be included in my next 20th presentation. Now, this is the overall summary of uh, 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 broad head wise the number of subheads uh, of expenses and the number of causes affecting uh, profit and loss reporting. <coughs> uh, for example, the row number one is lease rent paid on assets taken on hire, four subheads and number of causes being 12. Repair and maintenance building, uh, three subheads and number of causes that can affect reporting is eight and so on so, so forth, total being 15 subheads for expenses and 44 causes that can adversely affect the PNL reporting. Number one, overhead number one, lease rent paid on assets taken on hire, list of four subheads. Now, <coughs> uh, there are the, sub, the four subheads which I talked uh, a short while ago. One is the lease rental paid for the buildings, factories, offices, warehouses and associated land. Number two subhead is expenses associated with the leasing of plant and machinery equipment such as photocopier, printers, scanners, computers and telecommunication equipment or in fact uh, any, any plant and machine. Uh, number three uh, subhead three is lease expenses on the vehicles like truck, buses, delivery vans, utility vehicles, forklift etc. Number four is subhead uh, four is lease cost for furniture and fixtures which are leased out. Now. Le uh, uh, leases can be of two types one is the finance lease second is the operating lease finance leases are the ones in which uh, the uh, lessee company using the asset essentially assumes most of the risk and rewards for ownership the lease asset is recorded on the lessee's balance sheet and the leased payments are split into two components the depreciation component and the interest component and uh, the, uh, the depreciation component represents the uh, decrease in the assets value over time and interest components represent the cost of financing the assets through the lease. So number two is this operating lease. In an operating lease, the ownership remains with the lesser, the owner of the asset. The lease payments are simply an expense recognized in the PNL account for the period they are incurred. Twelve causes that can affect accuracy of the financial reporting of lease rent paid on the assets taken on hire. Over at number one. Now, <coughs> finance lease related aspects. Number one is the improper classification that is intentionally classifying a finance lease as an operating lease to keep liabilities uh, lease obligation of the balance sheet. This makes the company appear financially stronger but represents misrepresent the true debt. Number two is inaccurate depreciation. Uh, using an incorrect depreciation schedule for the leased assets can understate or overstate the expense of the P in the PLN account, manipulating thus manipulating the profitability. Number three, the hidden interest cost. Failing to uh, properly separate the interest portion of the lease payment from the depreciation expense. This can influence the actual cost of the financing the assets. And fourth is insufficient disclosures, not providing the adequate details about the lease agreement such as total lease obligations, future lease uh, payments and lease terms. Operating lease. <coughs> Omission of the lease payments, leaving, uh, though, uh, leave, leaving lease payments uh, out of the PL account can significantly understate the total expense and mislead the about the profitability. Number six is inconsistent accounting, changing the way operating lease are expensed year over year. In, uh, number seven is ignoring the future lease commitments, not disclosing the potential future financial obligations from upcoming lease payments. 
they can understand uh, can under uh, underestimate the company's long term liabilities. Number eight is inaccurate lease term estimates. Number nine is failure to disclose the non cancellable lease. Number ten is improper authorization of the lease expenses or approval not in line with the approved lease agreement. Uh, uh, third one is common for the both leases, <coughs> financing uh, and operating leases. Uh, not maximizing the utilization of the productivity uh, of the leased assets and not following accounting standards for reporting. Overhead number two, repair and maintenance uh, for the buildings. Uh, list of three subheads. Uh, there are three kind of uh, expenses. One is the preventive maintenance measures related expenses. These are the regular preventive maintenance ex expenses such as minor repairs to the civil or architectural facade or landscape or electrical lamps or wiring, plumbing, etc. etc. And such expenses are usually expensed off. Number two is the routine, uh, routine or breakdown maintenance to any civil or MEP works due to excessive wear and tear or human errors or natural causes such as tsunamis or earthquakes, hurricanes, etc. Such expenses, if minor, are usually expensed off. And number three is planned major renovation and replacement works. Uh, this includes works like architecture works like replacement of the roof, entire roof structure changes, facade replacement, external civil works, and landscaping works. Uh, interior, uh, interior works, MEP works like replacement of the lifts, generating sets, high set electrical works like transformers, etc., and major re major renovation in case of fire or major MEP equipment. Uh, such expenses are usually capitalized and depreciated over time in consideration with the statutory order. List of eight causes that can affect the accuracy of the financial reporting of the building repair and maintenance, that is overhead number two. Uh, cap number one is capitalization of the repair and maintenance expenses, misclassifying the repair and maintenance expenses as capital expenditure uh, to inflate the assets value and understate current period uh, expenses or vice versa, <laughs> depending on the whether the expenses are minor or major in nature. Overstating repair and maintenance expenses, derivatively inflating repair and maintenance costs to overstate expenses and reduce the reported profits. Number three is not disclosing the following. Contingent liabilities, neglecting to disclose the contingent liabilities related to the pending or anticipated major repairs and maintenance expenses or pending litigations or regulatory fines uh, related party transactions wherein significant repair works are granted to related parties. And continuing, uh, negotiating higher prices with the vendors, obtaining uh, by obtaining kickbacks from the repair and maintenance vendors, service providers and negotiating higher prices. Inadequate, uh, number five is inadequate record keeping of the expenses, hence, hence inaccuracy. Number six is omission of the repair and maintenance expenses, few few omissions, improper authorization of the building repair and maintenance expenses, approval of the vendor bills not in line with the approved purchase orders or agreement. Now order number three, repair and maintenance of machines, uh, uh, three subheads. <coughs> List of three subheads are, uh, uh, the, no, these machines can be, first of all, machines can be of, say, production or operation service or metal handling or office equipment or packaging or environmental control depending on the type of industry uh, for which this is being considered. Now, they are uh, similar to the earlier one, the, the, the three subheads uh, for expenses are preventing maintenance uh, related, uh, like, for example, changes of the uh, uh, lubricating oils, filter replacement, cleaning and minor equipments, safety checks, etc., routine or breakdown maintenance, replacement of the uh, worn out parts, uh, <coughs> repairing malfunctioning parts, major major renovations and replacement of the key components, used to enhance the capacity or performance or uh, complete major breakdown. Companies need a well-defined policy for classifying the and recording such expenses to ensure accurate financial reporting and cost analysis. 10 causes that can affect the accuracy of the financial reporting of the uh, uh, mach uh, machine related repair and maintenance expenses. Misclassifying repair and maintenance is 1. Number 2 is oversetting repair and maintenance. 3 is not disclosing the uh, uh, following anticipated major repair and ma uh, maintenance expenses related party transactions. Number 4 is unethical negotiation with the vendors. Number 5 is cost of component like spares, consumables used, and outsold labor expenses incurred. <coughs> Training uh, skill development costs for the maintenance uh, personnel, uh, emergency repair costs uh, to prevent production loss due to breakdown such as air travel and boarding lodging costs of specialized technicians, air freight, etc. not included, omission of repair and maintenance expenses, uh, improper authorization of the machines, uh, uh, R&M expenses and approval of the vendor base not in line with the approved purchase orders or agreements for rates and terms, etc. Order number four, uh, <coughs> repair and maintenance, others. Now this includes, others includes like uh, uh, tools, jigs, switchers, vehicles, health, safety, QC gauges, 
cleaning supplies, waste disposal, fees, etc., etc., which includes both the spares and the labor component, all the consumables. Uh, uh, the expenses can be broadly divided into two subheads. One is the preventive maintenance, and number two is the routine and breakdown maintenance. It's similar to the concept I explained in the previous one. And uh, the uh, six causes which can affect the accuracy of the financial reporting are number one, inconsistent expense categorization, number two, inaccurate cost allocation to the uh, other expense heads like manufacturing or, or other overheads, uh, number three, unethically overstating or understating such expenses, number four is omission and poor record keeping of such expenses, number five is improper authorization of the RM expenses, others, and approval of the vendor bills not in line with the approved purchase orders. Or number five, insurance. Now, uh, type of insurance and list of two expense subheads. There are 18 type of insurances which have been identified by this author for a typical manufacturing and selling company, such as human being related are medical claim policy, group GPI, group personal accident insurance policy, directors and office liability policy, human insurance policy, professional indemnity policy. Then business operations related, uh, <coughs> uh, general liability policy uh, for business premises, uh, commercial uh, end products, commercial general li liability policy for the end products, particularly if they are sold outside the country, say state, uh, country like USA, Europe, etc. Raw material and WP equipment and other assets related policies, standard fire and particular apparel policies and material equipment and other assets, office policies, complete building and fire uh, for, for this fire and equipment policy, etc. Fire, fire and earthquake policy, etc. Then material and equipment, other assets in transit, marine policy, cash, cash insurance policies, uh, profit, uh, loss of profit policy, equipment related policies are uh, MCE, marine income erection policy, equipment related erection and uh, erection for all risk policy, equipment breakdown policy for motor vehicles, motor and vehicle policies, uh, uh, building, building, awaiting occupation policies for that, building CAR, <coughs> contractor all risk policies, uh, building and for the building and construction. And more details are there in my uh, one of the YouTube presentations dated February 21, where the link is given below. Now, <coughs> uh, continuing with that, the expenses can be broadly divided into three categories, three subheads. One of the insurance premium related. Uh, which includes insurance premium fees, less deduction of rebates and paid upfront. And uh, number two is insurance premiums that are paid each year based on the tenure of the insurance policy, changes, additions or reduction to the such sum assured, and escalation in premium ca uh, premium due to insurance policy period extension. Number two is the insurance miscellaneous expenses such as expenses incurred towards arranging of the insurance survey any cost incurred for arranging documentation from third parties like chartered engineers or CA firms or police authorities like FIR and number three is the out of pocket expenses and third uh, uh, subhead for expenses is claim loss short for related loss incurred due to insurance claims short reimbursed by the insurance company which is the amount claimed um, based on the actual loss incurred. Eight causes that can affect the insurance uh, the accuracy of the financial reporting of the insurance costs in the payment account. Number one is inadequate risk coverage in the insurance policy negotiated and resultant loss of claims uh, uh, because of that, declaring false and inadequate sum assured, negotiating higher insurance premiums either due to inadequate premium offers or collusion with the insurance company officials for personal considerations. Fourth is inaccurate expense recognition. Fifth is manipulating the claims supporting documents, uh, inclusion with the insurance surveyors. Number six is omission of the sum of the expenses. Seventh is improper authorization of the insurance premium expenses. Number eight is improper approval of the shortfall in insurance claims settled by the insurance company. All these can lead to inaccuracy of the financial reporting in the insurance company, in the insurance uh, uh, account. Additional 14 subheads of overhead related expenses in the PLN account. <coughs> uh, see, I had talked about uh, earlier 15 subheads. Now there are other uh, heads which are there. These would be taken up in the, my next presentation. Uh, for the FNA team, uh, uh, which will be overhead number six will be communication, ten subheads. Overhead number seven, travel and conveyance, six subheads. Over uh, overhead number eight, pr uh, printing and stationery related. Overhead legal and pro uh, nine, uh, legal and professional, five subheads. Overhead number ten, business and entertainment related, three. Uh, overhead number eleven, uh, company maintained guest houses. Uh, overhead number twelve, donations, uh, seven subheads. And overhead number thirteen, uh, other overheads. Uh, which are not included anywhere else. So total subhead 14, uh, 41 subheads will be taken separately in my next presentation. Future references. Now the uh, my book on profitability and ethics, uh, essential gradients for business success 
uh, this book has been listed on the Amazon as per the link listed below. You can go through that and you can also refer to several blocks of on my website related to the corporate finance and accounts function under the <coughs> blocks category all industries. There are two categories all industries and uh, uh, real estate industries. Uh, a website address is given here. You can also refer to some of the article of interest to on the my Facebook account and LinkedIn account. Thank you very much.